Hello everyone, welcome to the writer tip of the day. Uh, today I'm going to focus on showing you how to make a button in your page. And uh, let's let's begin. So one of the tricks bringing a button to your page is to drag in the image widget. Now you can do that by dropping it in here. I've already uploaded a few images that I might want to use. But just to demonstrate to you what you do if you don't have these already in there is you click on upload, click upload an image and choose from what you've already uh, put into your, under your computer. I'm going to bring in a orange click here button. Now, interestingly, I created this particular button in a different program. You might be able to make it in a program like Keynote or, uh, or PowerPoint and just screen capture that little section and then save that little screen capture as, as an image. So I'm going to insert that right here. And notice that, of course, my background is white. Now, if I change the background to the page with the controls on the side here, um, let me bring in an image, background image for the page itself. And I'm going to choose, hmm, let's choose one that's relatively uh, simple. Uh, and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this one, a bit, bit of paper here. And you see the squiggly lines here. And now if I click on the image, you'll see that there's a hyperlink or a chain here that's, that's in, that implies a hyperlink. So if I click on that, I can put in a hyperlink. Now, two things. I can either have a hyperlink to a, an external page, uh, say, uh, a website, that I can put into as a pop-up, or showing it as a new window. And I just put in the URL here, and or I can use an internal uh, link. So this, if someone clicks on this particular button on this particular image, then it will go to a page that I've designated in the book. Now this particular book, I only have one page, so I haven't designated it. I'll, I'll click it here so it'll go to an internal page. It'll just stay at that page. Now I can also change the size of it by clicking on the right here. Now if I want to locate this particular image, I can look at the properties on the right hand side and I can it stays to the left or center it or to the right. Um, I can do do those two, two, uh, three different choices for uh, alignment. And that's it for images. Now, if I want to bring in another one, let's say I do that and actually, I want to bring in, I'll bring in click here for now, the blue one. And again, click on the image, I grab the little corner down here to change the size and I can click on this upper chain, this hyperlink tool to have it either go to an external or internal page, external link or internal page, either one. And again, of course, I can center it since this is the one that's highlighted, I can center it or put it to the right, whichever I like. I want to show you one more trick with putting in uh, choices. Now, if you want to bring in two side by side, you bring in the column widget, and now you have two locations, one here. Now, you can't quite see it because there's no outline shown here in the properties of this, this column. But if you notice here, number of columns, I can change that to three if I wish, or four or five, however I like. I can also slide them. But for this purpose, I just want them to be evenly split two columns. And I'm going to put borders on so you can see. Um, I'm going to just put this one in black. And now I'm going to click on the left one. I'm going to put that one in black so we can see those two columns. Now in this case, I want to bring in an image that is the yes button. I'll insert that one on the left and I will bring in the image to the right um, column. It's a little tricky here. 
bringing this one in and I'll click no. Now I have them side by side. I can increase the size such that it takes up the whole space. I could do the same thing for the no and increase it to take up the whole space. Um, I slightly have these a little bit off in terms of how big they are, but I can adjust that by putting that in the center and making sure this one's in the center. Now in both of these cases, I can click and have them jump to an external link or to a page. So if I want the students to go say yes for, for a particular answer, like I, I can delete this click here and I can bring in a text above this. Um, uh, choose either yes or no to decide which adventure you will go on. And I can center that easily by hitting that. Now the students can have yes or no. Now the other thing that they can do, and I'm gonna get rid of this click here button, um, you can use two columns. I'll bring in a, a, a second a set of columns. And again, I'll highlight these so you can see them. The property, I've clicked on the column and therefore that means it's highlighted. And I will put borders around it so you can temporarily see where they are. Now what I can do is, let's say I don't want to do a yes, no. And I just want to have them make a choice. This one, I'll get rid of the image from inside of it and I'll get rid of the image of this one. It collapses down. But what I want them to do is, I want them to choose which one of these is a cookie. <laughs> so which one of these round images is a cookie? And so I'll drag in the image. And let me see if I can get that over here easily. Put that one insert. I'll drag this one in here. I don't want it in between these two columns. And I'll put the cookie up there, down there. And I will insert the bicycle wheel there. Now in this case, of course, I can adjust, make adjustments if I wish um, in size and location, center them, I'll center the alignment on this one. Now if I wanted to um, I can put a header even above this. Um, let's see, actually, I'll put text up here. There we go. Which one of these is a... Okay. And I can change this font size to 50 center it. And of course, if I have links on all four of these images, then I can, um, I have students make the choice and then it goes on to the next page, either a particular page it jumps to or it bounces out to a, a browser page. So that's how you can make buttons inside of uh, Writer as of now. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us and go to the Nadma community uh, Facebook page to learn more. Take care.